Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Wednesday here, April 7th, the Wednesday after Easter. It's been a while since I've done a video. Um, doing a lot of other things these days, trading uh, very, very little FX. In fact, none um, at the moment trading some other stuff and managing some other assets so it's not really on the frontal lobe but I do want to continue uh, with the process because FX will come back eventually and I just want to keep an eye on it so I will continue to talk a little bit about FX some of the futures and, and um, maybe some more crypto stuff uh, which is more prevalent in my life these days um, so let's pull up Euro dollar first. We talked about this down. Uh, we thought 117.50 was going to be the low, but it turned out 117.03 was the low. Um, just like we talked about 110 being the high in um, dollar yen. We were also sort of wrong there. Dollar yen went up to 110.97. But anyway, <clears throat> the bigger picture on the dailies here, you can see this is turned. Um, and we foresee some real problems with the US uh, and sort of the straightforward Democrats in charge uh, devalue your dollar type trade uh, is going to come to the forefront now. Uh, rates aside, because um, rates globally are all going up together, um, we just think this is turned. So a little bit late now. <clears throat> I mean, if you're trying to try and medium term trade this, you can. But what you want to try and do is try and get euros down near 118, 118 and a quarter. Uh, that would be more sensible. Dollar yen, uh, same thing. It's turned. Uh, went up to 110, what is it, 97? 96. Uh, the bang, bang, non farms punched it back up to 75. But now, as the reality of the world is coming together, uh, we do think this is going to head back down towards 100. So keep an eye on dollar yen. We do like being short this. You know, this is where your stop is, 111. Um, so, you know, plan your trade accordingly, right? If, so if you're going to bang some out at 110 and leave a 100 point stop, you better be willing to fucking wait till 105. Uh, which again, none of you are willing to do. <clears throat> so you're just going to have to structure this in a better way. Uh, time it better, leave a tighter stop. Um, this is the this is what makes trading so tricky. Uh, and this is why most people fail. Anyway, Euro Yen is not doing too much. I don't really see much to do there. Aussie, what are these things? These are like average true range indicators. Let's get rid of these fuckers. Um, Aussie looks like it's making this sort of big head and shoulders. Aussie cannot go down unless we start turning risk off again. So just be patient with this. I don't really know what to do with Aussie. Um, I'm worried about global commodities. I'm worried about a lot of things. A lot of amazingness has been priced into risk. And I do foresee some trouble, and the trouble is a, revolves around debt. All these businesses who took interest-free debt, but it doesn't matter. If you take $100 million of interest-free debt, your, your interest payments are zero, but you still owe $100 million, right? That's the brick maker. He's going to drop a ton of fucking bricks on your head one day when you don't pay it back. People have invited the brick maker into their homes. Restaurants have, hardware short stores have, taxi medallion owners have, yoga studios have. Everyone has taken on this debt, even though it's low interest. They're never going to be able to pay this back. And so this is a real worry for me. Uh, one of the reasons I'm a little cautious with Aussie. Uh, and if you want to be short dollars, Aussie's not your pair. Dollars R is heading towards the lower end of the range. Probably, um, probably take a peek through 1440 at one point here, but um, I would not own Czar here. Um, I wouldn't be short Czar here either, but I would not own it. Um, South Africa's fucked. Everyone knows that I think that. Uh, everyone who listens to me knows that I think that. Um, it's a shame. Beautiful country, beautiful people. 
uh, less beautiful leadership and just a clusterfuck of, uh, of internal problems uh, that we don't need to get into. Euro Aussie, no idea. Aussie Yen. Kind of want to short this, uh, but let's just wait, right? I mean, the real easy short is 82 cents, so just wait. Uh, 83, 82 now, so nothing to do here. Kiwi, we were screwing around with Kiwi and Kiwi Yen. We have not gotten back above this 7097, which is not a bullish sign. Could probably be short Kiwi just based on the bars here. Um, the last time we were talking about uh, dollar CAD, we were talking about the 127.50 area. In the meantime, we went all the way down to 123.76. Uh, anyway, we're buyers of this. This is our big bull bear pivot, 127.50. Otherwise, we sit on the sidelines and wait. Dollar max, no idea. Uh, gold, double bottom here, and like sort of a purely technical. If you read Nissan, Nissan candlestick patterny thing, 1754 is your neckline and kind of a pivot. If you want to get long gold, this will be an interesting point. And if you think the dollar is going to devalue, which I do, uh, this is something to watch. Crypto-wise, um, we don't own any Bitcoin right now. Uh, and it's just plopping around at the top of the end of the range here. Not much to do, but we're a little skeptical of Bitcoin. We do own some lumens. We've been talking about this uh, since that sort of... 38 cent range obviously with the news out of China this thing popped uh, 57 cents now we're back at 50 cents um, we want to keep accumulating these if you're not disciplined and you don't know how to trade it doesn't matter um, dollar cost average or just take a day your favorite day of the week let's say your favorite day is Tuesday and then take your favorite number. Let's say your favorite number is 12. At 12 o'clock on Tuesday, just buy yourself 100 lumens, which is $50, or 1,000 lumens, which is $500, or 10,000 lumens, which is $5,000. You get the picture. Just do it every Tuesday um, for the next six months. Um, we see a pretty bright future. Um, for lumens. Ethereum, same thing. Uh, Ethereum is the Google of, crypt of crypto. Uh, if you think you're late on Ethereum, did you think you were late on Google at 300 bucks? It IPO'd at 100, it tripled to 300, but then it just quietly went up forever and will continue to go up forever because it's Google. Ethereum is the Google of crypto. Just stick your hand in there get some slowly and steadily um, you know we're only playing the long side in crypto we are not short crypto um, and everyone asked me uh, but I'm like yes this stuff is gonna have vicious left-hand side moves uh, but we just don't play the short end because there's just too much global money that's going to be chasing this in the next sort of five years. So we're long only. I guess that makes us beta, bozos, boneheads, whatever. But we're long only on the crypto side. Listen, I've talked a lot. I haven't really said all that much. Um, we like sh looking to short U.S. dollars uh, against yen or euros. Otherwise, FX looks really dull. Um, and on the crypto side, uh, we're big fans of what's going on uh, at Stellar. And therefore, we like owning lumens. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you soon. Ciao.